Today we heard the news report that Coca-Cola Pep Seeds are changing their recipe for their soft drinks. And the reason for that is that 4-methylamidazole and 2-methylamidazole uh, have been found to be in those drinks in very small quantities and they pose some cancer risk. It would take around about a thousand cans a day to get you to that alarming level. So, but nonetheless, they want to be safe. Right, so uh, it's 4-methylamidazole. So this is the, uh, the molecular model that, that we've got here. Here's the methyl group. Is it the four position and the imidazole is this five membered ring here. We've got two nitrogens and the rest are carbons. It's been found in rats and mice, not humans, to uh, potentially cause cancer and so just to be safe they want to change their process. And it actually comes from the colouring. So Coke, Dr Pepper, they're brown. That colouring comes from caramel or so called caramel colouring. And what you do when you make caramels, you take a sugar, this is glucose, they tend to use dextrose, which is a bit more complicated, and they heat it up. And to get a deeper colour, you can add things like ammonium salts and sulphite salts, and that gets a much more intense brown colour. But it's actually the ammonia, which is a nitrogen-based species, it's NH3, it reacts with the, the sugars as they degrade, and that's what forms the 4-methyl uh, amidazole and 2-methyl amidazole. So you don't need to add the ammonia. You get a less intense colour, but it means it's safe. You've just got the, the normal sugar byproducts uh, in the caramel and the colouring, and then you're fine, absolutely fine. So I su suspect that's exactly what Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola are going to be doing. Well, it'll be the same colour, but because the colour intensity will be less with the uh, un um, with the non-ammonia added uh, um, processed uh, caramel, uh, they'll have to add a bit more of that colouring and of course that will cost them more because they'll have to make more of it. Um, but it's safer. And uh, so the Coke, I'm sure, will be exactly the same colour. Uh, caramel colouring has no flavour associated. It's literally just there to give it that colour. Um, and so I would imagine that there will be no taste difference whatsoever. What is it? Is it what is it in nature? Is it like is it just something you make for Coca Cola and Pepsi, or is it you know is it yeah. used by? It's a nice question. Um, so, four methylamidazole is a byproduct of this uh, colouring uh, of the manufacture of this colouring compound. But in nature, um, we find versions of this material. So, if I if I put this little group on here, now this material uh, is histidine. That's a naturally occurring amino acid. And it's very related, if I remove this, this group here, this carboxylic acid group, that's histamine. And of course everyone's heard of antihistamines. Histamine itself is a neurotransmitter. So amidazoles themselves aren't particularly a problem, but this 4-methylamidazole here has been found in rats and mice to be uh, a cancer suspect agent. And of course these, these uh, companies want to be absolutely sure that their products don't contain anything associated with uh, cancer and so just to be safe they're removing it. Well no aren't they removing it because they'll have to put anti-cancer warnings on their labels. Well yeah and of course they don't want to have anti-cancer uh, <coughs> warnings on the labels although you would need to drink a lot a thousand or more uh, cans of, uh, of soft drink a day in order to, to attain the levels where you're at that danger level. We didn't have at the University of Nottingham a sample of 4-methylamidazole, but this is the parent compound, so this is amidazole. So if we take this, if we remove the methyl, that is amidazole. And amidazole is uh, used an awful lot by us because it's a really good uh, uh, catalyst and base. And it's a nice solid white compound, as you can see here. 4-methylamidazole looks essentially the same. It's a slightly more yellowy colour than amidazole, which looks almost pure white. Do you drink any of these soft drinks? I do, yeah. They're, they're, um, it's a nice drink. Uh, not every day, but I will drink Coke, I'll drink Dr Pepper, I'll drink Pepsi, I'll drink lemonade and beer and wine and other things too, absolutely.
but not a thousand cans a day. I wouldn't drink a thousand cans of anything a day, absolutely. Uh, and I suggest that our viewers don't either. Cheers. <laughs>